Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick episode um, and put it out for an hour long episode for you guys just to kind of see how it's received, how you take it. So let me know um, what you think of this one hour episode. Basically what we've done for this one is we rolled two of our former videos into one. Um, we have added some spin to it, changed a couple of things. You notice you get a hint in here for our giveaway. We're going to start doing this in some of our videos. Um, also, I wanted to mention, if you're not a subscriber already, uh, please don't forget to subscribe, guys. It's super important. Uh, turn notifications on. I'll put a subscribe link right up here. You can click on that, or you can just click subscribe in the video description. Uh, and then stay tuned for more content in the future. Also, we have our new merch out, guys. This is our new hoodies. It's got the Jeep on the front. Super nice quality hoodies, guys. Uh, the inside is super soft, fleece-type material. I hope you like this video. And until next time, stay safe on the trail. So for breakfast, we're doing uh, bacon, hash browns, and eggs with a side of some really terrible toast because Walmart was out of the good bakery toast. So we'll probably be having Wonder Bread. We should put the hash browns in this one. Bacon and potatoes is just about done here. And we'll throw a quick couple of eggs in here. Yeah, looks like Brandy's got some coffee percolating over here again. She can't go without her coffee. A pot of day will keep the doctor away, I suppose. Okay, so we just finished breakfast up and we're gonna eat it here real quick. And then uh, we're gonna get on the road and head over to the other camp where all of our family's staying in the, the, the trailer park camp. <laughs> and uh, I really have nothing against trailer parks. There's nothing wrong with trailer parks, but um, we're more secluded at our house than we are at the campsite that they're at. So, you know, we like to get out and camp and kind of enjoy nature and be able to hear wildlife and not necessarily hear people's generators running or motorcycles and traffic going down the highway. So. Oh, car is up, barely. So, anyway, um, we'll be out of here probably in the next half hour or so, and we'll be headed towards Custer. Is it National Park? I think it's Custer National Park, but you guys, I know you'll correct me if it is a state park, so we'll find out soon enough. It's 8.30 a.m. right on the dot, and we are leaving our camp, headed over to the rest of our group's camp to see if they're all ready to go to Custer Park. I said that I would be there at 9.17 precisely, but we've been kind of hanging around our camp for about two hours here this morning, and we're getting kind of stir crazy, so I think it's time we go ahead and head over that way. It's a door lock to the camper. So stay tuned here and, and uh, we'll get some Custer State Park on here. Or Custer National Park, we're still really not sure. So this morning, Connor and I and Brandy and pretty much everybody looked everywhere for my jacket. It's a pretty nice, uh, you know, like a Geo windbreaker type style jacket. And on our drive home last night from the other camp, I'm thinking, man, who's been all the way back in here where our camp is? Because it looked like somebody lost a black trash bag. Well, we're driving through here this morning. That wasn't a black, black trash bag. It was my Ogeo jacket. So uh, I found my jacket before we need it. So it's supposed to rain today, possibly. Larry, you got your seatbelt on? So anyway, thought that was exciting and you might want to know. All right, it's official. Custer is a state park. And Mount Rushmore is a national park. And we are about five miles from Custer now. Anybody else add anything? <laughs> There's buffalo there. There's buffaloes painted on buffaloes. There's 
painted buffaloes all over the little town of Custer. They are pretty cool. So we're out at Custer National, or I'm sorry, we're out at Custer State Park, and uh, we've traveled this road here for about the last probably six or seven miles, and uh, really is pretty cool down here. And we've got some nice cloud cover. You can see we got a little trio of Jeeps over here. We're not, uh, we don't have our full group today. Some of them didn't want to come here. They've already been here. Uh, but after this, we're going to head over to Mount Rushmore, and we'll get some footage over there. And hopefully here we'll see some wildlife, and uh, we'll get some video of that when we can show it to you guys. So stay tuned in here. It's pretty cool. Huh? We're gonna get some buffalo shit on our tires here to so we can show that we've been in South Dakota. Just leaving the some kind of like the, the back entrance of the Custer here, and we're trying to get back out on the Legion Lake. The road it's a, we're by Legion Lake, and we're trying to get out here. We're going to take some kind of iron road or something or another like that, and kind of take the back way into Mount Rushmore. And I'm pretty sure it goes through some tunnels and things like that, so it should be a pretty cool ride. So get it all on video here. As you can see straight ahead of us, that's Mount Rushmore. We just drove through the tunnel here. It's straight across the other side. It might be kind of hard to see on the dash cam, uh, but we'll get a close up on our uh, camera for you as well.
so you should just walk up. Bad when people sit on your stuff. See the pieces? Now. I'll take your picture here. Put it down here. That one down here. Just like nice. Nice. Okay. I want. I want it. Does it look good? Okay, so we're just leaving Mount Rushmore. Pretty cool. Probably not worth the hype. What? Nah. What do you think? It's worth the hype. It's cool. It's not that cool. It's like one little. It's cool. It's like one little walkway, and you walk up there. And you, but you can see everything else from right down the road here on the other mountain. Oh well, yeah. And it's cool. free. So I guess it's cool to say you've been to Mount Rushmore and we got the sticker to put on the Jeep. Um, so those parts are cool. But other than that, don't make a trip to South Dakota for it. It's the Mount Rushmore. Yeah, but the hot dogs don't take care as long as you cook. That's why I put them on you. Yeah, those are, okay, well, those are raw. I thought they were pre-cooked. So technically this is night number three, and we're down here at our primitive camp. It's still just us, Fred and Michelle here, and uh, the rest of our group should be coming in tomorrow or the next night. We'll see what happens. And. Uh, we're still kind of planning on possibly doing a ride this evening. We'll see where we get with that. We're going to get some food real quick. We've had a long day over at Custer State Park and Mount Rushmore. So we're going to make up some quick dinner and then uh, see what sounds good to us here in about an hour. Stay tuned. So it's about 7 p.m. and we've ran into another one of these little South Dakota rain surprise storms. And uh, we had our brats out there on our grill. We were all sitting around the fire. And kind of all of a sudden, this storm came on us. And it's a pretty, uh, pretty gnarly one. So we've moved in here to our trusty little grill under our awning for now. And uh, we're going to try to finish cooking dinner here. And then we'll probably hop in the Jeep where it's dry and go do some riding this stuff because it's always a lot of fun. All right, so it's about 8.30, 7.30, is it 7.30? 7.30. Yeah, the clocks are still messed up. It's about 7.30 p.m. We just finished up dinner. We had some, just some brats and some hot dogs over the fire. And uh, we've had a pretty bad little storm kind of come in on us. So um, it's gotten darker a lot quicker than it should have. And the trail should be slick and wet. It should be a lot of fun. So we're going to get out here and see if we can do a little trail riding before it gets too dark on us. Somebody left it on. What is that? 
I'm gonna figure out to tell a scary story. That's better. Oh yeah. It's quite right up in your face. So we were gonna try to make it down here to this um, Slate Creek Dam. <clears throat> We've been driving for just uh, just about an hour here, and the sunlight beat us because um, we got within what was it, two miles or three miles? Three. We came up here to this to the sign. It says it's still another three miles, um, and we have been on this road for probably I don't know how many miles, but I thought it only said nine miles. I guess we just been. You just gotta take it really slow because it's a narrow road and it's pretty rough and there's a lot of stuff to see out here. So uh, it's getting a little, you know, it's kind of getting hairy and it's getting kind of dark. And I am by myself tonight. Um, so the last thing you really want to do is venture out too far by yourself and uh, have a problem because we just end up having to camp right in here, which is not comfortable for people. So. We're going to head on back to camp for the night, call it an evening, and then uh, I've saved the waypoints here in the GPS, and we will come back tomorrow and check this Slate Creek Dam out, and uh, we'll get some footage of it. So, y'all have a good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. So we kind of thought maybe we were turning in for the night, but we were wrong. <laughs> we put uh, our camp in the GPS because we didn't come from camp. We just figured we'd take it back to us. And it takes us and turn, it shows that this is a road for the next two miles. And you can see in the video, um, video? kind of what we're dealing with. Yeah, it's on the front. Oh, okay. So this is the road that it brought us on. And guys, this doesn't even look like a jeep trail this is like a four-wheeler trail and it's calling it a road so um, we're gonna do what we can here we may end up having to just turn back and kind of backtrack our trail all the way back out to Hill City and then go to our camp from there because the last thing we want to do is get stuck out here in the middle of the night on something like this and the trails here are we just had some big rain so this stuff is what turned is that? in that's a skunk so we're going to zone. Ugh. The trails here are uh, wet and soupy kind of right now, so getting stuck uh, may be an option as well. So stay tuned, it could get really exciting tonight. Roll them up. Okay, so our worst fears came true. We've literally drove all the way back in here on this road that uh, Google Maps brought us on, which, you know, 
Shame on me for using Google Maps out here in South Dakota in the hills. We get all the way up here, we drive up this steep hill, and I'm thinking, okay, we're almost through it. We just gotta get up this one little steep hill and we'll be done. And we get to the top of that steep hill and it's a metal grate um, snowmobile trail. And we had to back all the way down this steep hill in the dark. So, we're going back out the way we came in and we're getting our butts back to camp before we get in more trouble than we should. So, if we have any more trouble, we'll stay in touch. Okay, so we made it back to this China Gulch Road, which is the one we came in on. And we still got a good little hike out of here, probably five, six miles. And uh, I, like I said, I'm just uneasy because we're alone. Uh, me, when I say alone, I mean we're in one rig. So um, we're headed back out to the beginning of this. And um, I just sent some drop pins to the other riders that we have riding with us back at camp. Um, just in case something was to happen but that was pretty wicked we got back in there and um, we had to back all the way out in the dark um, so anyway we're a little, we feel a little better now we're back on this main road and we're just going to kind of ease on out of here and, uh, and get back to camp so we'll check in with y'all later or we'll see you in the morning <laughs> yes okay so we've made it back to camp we're going to close our evening out here where it's calm and peaceful and there's not murderers around trying to take us out <laughs> and uh, we'll probably tell some stories Connor's going to tell us a scary story about four wheeling out in the South Dakota woods here in a few minutes Okay. and then uh, we'll check back with you in the morning when we go to have breakfast so you can see what we're eating did anybody want anything? Brad, Michelle you want to tell them about the crackheads across the street I think they're gone Crackheads moved out. <laughs> we don't have anything to worry about. There was somebody down in here in a Mercedes S Class today. A white Mercedes S Class. <laughs> Trying to Went go by here about 35 miles an hour. <laughs> Trail riding. So uh, we'll watch for them. Fred's going to blow their tires out. Uh, but we'll see you in the morning. What's my slogan? Uh, drive reckless, trail. take chances. No, you told me that people wouldn't like that one. Oh. Stay safe on the trails. I don't know. And watch out for Roy or the bison. <laughs> <laughs> watch out for the bison. He's a two-ton bison. All right, so it's about uh, 8.55 a.m. And we decided not to really make any breakfast around camp or anything like that this morning. Um, we kind of took our time getting around. We were out late last night. And... Uh, we're going to run up here to the grocery store and just pick a few things up for lunch and some iced coffee and things like that, throw it in the cooler. And then uh, we're set out to have a, basically a full day of trail riding all day with our entire group, the city slickers and the, the Outback Woodsmen out here at our camp. So you know, it should be a pretty good day and hopefully we can get some good drone shots today as well. And then at some point we want to make it up to that dam that we started up last night and it got too dark on us to continue, so stay tuned here. Turn it, turn it this way. Turn it hard. That's it. 
Turn it back the other way now. Turn it this way. There you go. All right, now turn it towards Mark. Uncle Mark. All right, now let go. Just kind of let it turn now. Yeah, there you go. Okay. I'm driving this good. Yeah. There, I'm five, we got some shade. I'm driving school. There you go, say it again. I'm five and I'm driving this good. <laughs> Clara just drove the Jeep for her first time. She did pretty good. Guard her with your life, Mary Beth. You know me too well. Off-road recon, 2020. Um, 2020. Yeah. Can you see him in this mirror? In that one? Oh my God. I still got some kind of problem with mine because when I get into a little bind like that, it just will not go. I'll follow you, Johnny. When I first went through it, my tire was just digging the hillside out. That's what I did last night on it. Yeah. Old barn there, old house. It's like a house, got windows on it. Okay, so we just turned on to the road 386 Battle road. off of uh, Battlefield Road, Battle Battle Deerfield Road, I'm sorry. Uh, so 386 off of Deerfield Highway. It's on the left hand side. And as soon as we came in here, we saw uh, trailers pulled off with ATVs. So it's ATV, UTV, and uh, Jeep are off road friendly. So. Uh, it looks pretty cool so far. We haven't got back in here very far, but uh, we'll keep you updated. We went Hold on. 386, what did he, then he turn on off the highway. And then 151 right after that. Just stay out to 151. My parents aren't here because my dad's our, our Jeep is has something wrong with it again and we just got it fixed like two months ago. So I'm here with Aunt Brandy and Uncle Ben and they're filming right now and so yeah.
keep so moving this around. Battle Axe Road. And it went right through. It is? Yeah, it says it is. So we finally got our entire group in line here. We can convoy on up into the Black Hills. We've got a perfect day for this. It's been in the mid to high 70s all day. All right, we can take the rougher trail to the left and up into this mountain, or we can follow this one around to the right. I don't care. Anyway, final link. Trail says open off road machine, so we'll take her. This would be one of the more interesting decisions we made in our trip. This trail to the left, obviously, is a rougher traveled trail. We didn't realize it at the time but it was probably meant for anything under 60 inches. So we get into some pretty slim trails with some pretty soft edges on the road, but we make do and it made for one heck of a ride and we all had a lot of fun. Stay close to one another. Everybody continue through like a military convoy. As you can see here, these trails are getting really narrow. If you notice, my front driver's side fender almost clips this tree. And over to the right on the passenger side, the edge of the road is getting really soft going down the hill. Pay close attention to the sides of the trail. How much room down there on the ground? Uh, Am I right about on the edge? Eight inches. Oh, okay, we're good. Now you're a lot slimmer. Like how slim? Well, like six, but there's a lot of loose rocks. Oh. Of we're up on the path still, all right. Yeah. We up on the path still? Yeah. Looks like a UTV ATV trail. All right, she's opening up again here, boys. I like these tight technical trails. Yeah, you gotta hug that left side because it's soft over on the right. Yeah. 
Eat it. Eat it. Yeah. Yeah, you're gonna have some of that out here in the Black Hills of South Dakota and such. Oh, this is easy when you compare it to Taney County. Exactly. There's a little stump around him. Watch him stumps on the left side coming through here, guys. So we got off here on this trail and it was an all-road or all-terrain trail for all vehicles and it's kind of slimmed down and now it shows green on the map which means ATV, UTV and uh, we're plugging right along on it but it's a tight fit and it's narrow and we get on this slate rock and stuff and we're kind of dragging our tires on one side so got to be careful not to slice our tires. Uh, but looks like we're gonna probably be able to chug right on through this and uh, See if we can get back to all, mo all motorized vehicle roads or trails Right there, 50 degrees. What? Pretty cold. 50 degrees. Cold. It's not breathtaking, though. It's not. It's not. <laughs> not on your feet and legs. Oh, legs. Right? I got oh. this as well. This is hot. It's not hot. <laughs> I just wanted to point out that I had a deal with Mary Beth that if I jumped in, she would jump in. As you can see, only one of us held our end of the deal. Claire's! Was this one of those flesh-eating ponds that they had in the magazine? <laughs> yeah, that red dye's coming towards you, Ben. <laughs> Clara! Okay, so we're almost back to this infamous uh, dam sign. What is it? P-Tac Dam. Slate, Slate Creek Dam. We're almost back to it. And um, once we get here, I think Dad's waiting up here in his Jeep. And we're just going to fly right on by him because they left us at camp and didn't wait. I was actually just waiting. I, I wouldn't do anything. I was waiting on everybody else. So now we're just gonna fly right on by him and uh, see if we can find this dam today. So stay tuned. Hey, I just heard Dad. Did you hear him? I drive through a mud pile, it smells like cow shit. Well, I guess we better turn around. We haven't heard anything out of Dad or anything yet, so I don't think he's down here. Yeah, you'd think we'd be able to hear him on our radios, though, if he was down here, so. Oh, man. As soon as we go back behind these rocks, we're going to lose signal. <laughs> I guarantee you, when we get away from the rocks, we'll hear him again. Yeah. All right, well, we're 
we're turning around here, so we'll go back up on top and see if we can find him up there. He don't get on there. No. I think we should just keep going this way. <laughs> Well, maybe we'll find him up at the top of this hill here. <laughs> so we're coming down here into these bottoms and we can hear dad over the radio and he keeps saying, come in, I can hear you, I can hear you. And I'm calling over the radio to Nate saying, well, I guess we better turn around. We can't find him. And we're probably right around the corner from him. I imagine within a mile, we can hear him pretty clear on the radios. So he thinks that we're we're turning around and driving back out of here. He's probably gonna come looking for us. So anyway, I thought I'd tell you because it's pretty funny. We heard you. You guys not hear me? Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> I said, yeah, we're going to go back out, back up the hill. I don't think they found the joke quite as humorous as we did. I guess they were doing some troubleshooting on their two-way radio trying to figure out what issue they might have. It was all in good fun. We laughed it off later. Now we've made our way down to the dam finally, and we can hear several dirt bike riders coming up behind us, so we decide to pull over and get some drone footage and let these guys pass. Again, I say this in most of my videos, make sure you don't hold up the traffic. If you're moving slower than the people behind you, pull over and let them go around. These are the kind of things that make these trips and all the work so worth it. Making these memories with the people that you love most and doing it in some of the most beautiful places that our country has to offer. This uh, dam here, Slate Creek Dam, was one of my favorite places that we went. And it's not the fact that the dam was so beautiful, it was the route that it took for us to get back in here to it. It really is like trails and off-roading all the way to the dam. I know it looks like a nice gravel road once we're here, but that's not what we rode in. Obviously, you can see that. It's several miles back in here. I've added the coordinates to the video. If you're ever in South Dakota, in the Black Hills in particular, I really recommend you come here and try it out. Smell it? I 
I can only expect that this dark earth tone slate rock is the reason that these mountains are called the Black Hills. After doing some Google research, I actually found out that it's because the trees were so densely populated and darker in color. This hence the name Black Hills. But still in my own mind, I really want to believe it's this dark colored rock. These really are beautiful. Seeing this dam and water had put us all in the mood for a swim. So we decided we were going to make our way towards Pactolo Reservoir and Lake. We had spoke to some locals in Hill City in the prior days and they told us this was the best place around to swim. This is the train that runs up to Black Elk Mountain. You can get on it in Hill City and ride it up to the trail side of Black Elk. We didn't get a chance to do this, but we sure wanted to. Oh, 
Oh, oh, get that shirt off. Oh. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Come on, guys. All right, so we're just leaving Pactola Dam in Reservoir, and uh, boy, it is a pretty lake down here, a reservoir, whatever you want to call it. It's fun. But uh, we all jumped off the bluff, and Connor Happy. jumped off the bluff, and Claire's too young still. But, but she swam for her first time. She swam. Yeah. She did swim for her first time with no life jacket. Tell them yeah. about it, Claire. I swam one time with my dad and my swim and then, and then the um, other That's right. She swam without a life jacket or anything today. She swam to the rock. Of course, she was swimming for her life, but she did do it. Connor, tell him about jumping off the bluff. Um, it was the bluff that you jumped off was so skinny that it was hard to jump off of it. Yeah, so it was, it was a real narrow rock. Anyway, there's, there's a lot of cliffs and stuff like that you can jump off up here. The water temperature is pretty cold, but it's uh, refreshing. Today it was like 81, 82 degrees, and we had a blast out here. So. If you get a chance, come South Dakota in the Black Hills, come to uh, Pactola Dam Reservoir and swim out here because it's a lot of fun. We're going back to camp. We're going to have dinner. You'll see some footage of that. See you soon. All right, so we're back at camp here, and we've got our movie set up for our movie night. I love this family. We're going to do a movie night here. As soon as it gets dark, we'll see it a little clear. Right now, we've got direct TV going on our Apple TV. Hunters. We got Wi-Fi out here in the middle of nowhere, literally. In the Black Hills. And we've got our dinner going here. Brandy's over here working on some potatoes. Finally. Finally. And we've got burgers going. So we're gonna have burgers, potatoes, and we got onion and everything. So we should have a pretty good meal tonight. Not quite as good as our steak we had the first night, but this will this will be good enough. And I think since we are in South Dakota and we went to Deadwood, we're going to watch Wild Bill tonight. Kind of set the mood for the Deadwood feeling. So anyway, tomorrow we're probably going to head back to Missouri. So stay tuned and uh, and maybe we'll get some trail stuff tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe we'll just drive home. So thanks again for watching Off of Recon. We really appreciate it and we'll see you on the trail. Thanks for watching our newest video guys. Please don't forget to respond in the comments below with your answers to the clues. You can put all of the clue answers in one comment. Um, so just put them in order the way that they were received on the video and we'll take a look at them and I hope you win the drawing. Until we see you next time, stay safe out on the trails.